What up guys? Welcome to a new video. Probably the best video that's gonna be in this damn YouTube channel. I'm finally gonna put the rims on the cave in. Um, I just got out the shower. I'm about to go to work, but I was finally able to find some tires online. It was a sketch website because I didn't know about it. I went to my dad's old job and was talking to the owner there. He said he's never heard about it either, so it was a risk that I took, but thankfully I received the tires and pretty fast as well. It was probably like three days shipping, but yeah, don't mind my room is going to be messy, but I'm going to show you guys the tires and I did ceramic coat the rims last night, so we're all good to go. I just got to mount them on. This is the tire size I went with 165, 50, 15. They are really, really small. Like I said, don't mind the mess. <laughs> and I ordered these on Amazon. Little paw caps. And four different types of wheel locks. Now that I showed you guys the tires, I'm now going to show you guys the rims. But be ready for this because these are probably the craziest rims you're going to ever see in the streets. These are it right here by Felgen Words. I've been having these for like maybe two months now, maybe a month something, just say two months. And these came in the same day the cave and arrived here. So yeah, let me just show you guys the rims. All right, so we're gonna open them up. All of this over here. All right, so I didn't know the black piece was off, but just by that, it should show it a bit more. Bam, do you guys see the teddy bear rims? <laughs> Bro, these are so sick. All right, so here we have it, guys. Belgian work teddy bear rims. So these are the rims. I'm excited about these. These are hella sick. <laughs> Look at this. Like the cave ends are already unique, bro. And like these, having these on the cave end makes it more unique because. I've never ever seen anyone run these on their cars. Like, have you guys? Comment down below if you have, because I have not. I've only seen Instagram pictures and YouTube videos about them. All right, so before I even mount the rims onto some tires, I did order this online ceramic coating. So I'm gonna apply this onto the rims since whenever I drive, I'm not even gonna lie, I never wash my car and I never wash the rims. So. This should help just by like, if I ever want to just wash the rims, I could just rinse it down without having to use soap or anything. So I did get this off Armor Shield, whatever that is. I don't know what the number that is, <laughs> but yeah, I'll put the link in the description. Now that you guys saw the rims, I'm going to attempt to do my first ever B-roll. So if it comes out shaky, you know why. So I hope you guys like that B-roll. I'm now gonna go ahead and load up the tires and rims onto the van and go and get them mounted. I didn't record when the tires were getting mounted on the rims just because it's very awkward just recording them but this is when I want to go test fit the rims for the first time with my dad. I did go to three different shops just to mount these damn tires on and no one was able to do it. 
and the first shop i went to all they did was scratch one rim which got me really mad because they were not cheap and they said they didn't scratch it but i literally ceramic coated them one night before and they were literally not scratched at all so they lied and i'm never going back there and that shop is where my dad used to work right here in this clip but i only went there because i thought they were able to do it no my dad did not scratch it he doesn't work there anymore but yeah his boss scratched it so i'm kind of mad Guys, I finally got them mounted. I finally got them mounted. Shout out to AM Tire Co. Whatever it is, I'll put the I don't know something in the description about them. I don't know if they got social media or not. But I went to three different shops yesterday, and no one was able to do it. Two of them was like, "No, I'm not touching that. The gap is too big, and the tires are too stiff." Before I put the wheels onto the van, I'm gonna first put on these stem caps that I bought on Amazon, just because it matches it a lot. This is how the tire looks on the rim. It has a lip as you can see. But just look at the size difference with the OEM wheel and the new wheel I'm putting on. It's like half the size of it, it's funny. So the rims are on. Jeez. Uh, kind of mad though. This stays open, but yeah, it bothers me. And I accidentally scratched the rim right there. Pops out. Quite a lot. Look at that. Man, it's so funny. You can see the tire just popping out. It looks like a bug from the outside. Just look at that. <laughs> I have big plans for this damn van. I really want to keep it. Like, I've been thinking about it. It's been really, like, really helpful. If it's everything in there, like, it's just the van. It helps a lot. So, I really want to do an engine swap on it. I'm not saying I will. I just want an engine swap just to actually daily drive it comfortably like on the freeway because when I drive it on the freeway it's so slow like it's so slow everybody passes me and going uphill it has no power this thing only has like 30 40 horsepower it's crazy but yeah I hope you guys like the video go ahead if you want like comment and subscribe this was supposed to be my second video on this channel, but I've been slacking. I just couldn't find tires till last week, I think. And yeah, it wasn't that bad of a deal either. 260 or 280 for all four. Like, that's really cheap to be honest. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. And I probably look like a mushroom or something. You guys can't even see my eyebrows. My hair's so long. I need a haircut. But anyways, peace. <laughs>